Hello guys, Absolute Thoughts here coming to you with another One Piece video, and in this One Piece video I have for you my final round playing my first locals and first time ever playing Rob Lucci. So let's go ahead and see how it's going to be. We're up against the Dr. Vegapunk, and we start off playing Spandom, looking at the top three and adding a color fit to hand, and passing turn to the Eggman himself. Okay, so Vegapunk is on the play, he's got two done, could gain a life, could gain a free card. Let's see what he's going to do, he's going to rest one playing an atlas from his hand for free because vegapunk starts off with two life but can play five cost characters or egghead characters for free well for one don which is very very good so we're going to swing into life he chooses to take the life here and gets a frankie trigger very very strong being able to go ahead and get a character while also drawing a card and i'm going to go ahead and swing a spandom as well for five into his life seeing as we can take a card or seeing if we can take that last life already either roll would be great and he does go ahead and trash another character to go ahead and stop that i think that's pythagoras um if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong he's one of the vegapunks he's uh number six number five on number six he's one of the two uh, I'm, I'm, don't don't crucify me guys i do know my vegapunks he's the one who can also remove his head which is actually kind of cool <laughs> if you do watch the anime there but yeah guys let's go ahead and see what eggman's gonna do he's gone ahead and gone onto his turn he has six dawn to play with which is very very nice he's gonna go ahead and put two onto frankie and swing seven into my life i do choose to take it he swings a six into the spandom and he's gonna use vegapunk's ability to go ahead and play a character from hand or he's gonna gain a life he's gonna go ahead and play a shaka i think that's shaka though the, he's the good one uh so that's very nice Going ahead and getting a 6k blocker on the board is always going to be pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swing 6 into life, I would guess. No, swing 6 into Frankie, decrease the shucker by 1. Trashing 2, he blocks and then counters with another Pythagoras. I'm hoping that one's Pythagoras, guys. Because I think I believe he's Pythagoras, the blocker's shucker. Atlas is the one that can't be KO'd. I'm just trying to remember them all. So it looks like I've rested a number of Don to play something. I think that's the Khalifa. To go ahead and draw two and then trash two. I think that's Khalifa, guys. I'm sorry about the glare. I did actually have to move the setup for this recording and I didn't notice the glare until now. So I hope that you guys are okay with that. I do apologize. But we've got Khalifa on the board now. He's going to swing five into my life. Pretty sure that's Khalifa. And I'm going to go ahead and counter with a Kaku. Not wanting to take the Frankie. And he's going to swing six. I'm going to go ahead and take the six swing. And we trigger. Okay, very nice. Getting a draw, getting the zero cost. So he has no one cost characters to KO, but he's going to swing a seven as well, putting us on two life. And he's going to play the Superman Luffy, killing the Khalifa. It was a Khalifa. Okay, good to know. And then it's going on to my turn now. Okay, so we're on seven done. Lots of potential plays that we can make here. And let's find out what those are going to be. So I'm going to play a Spandam. Looking at the top three, can't add anything because we whiffed, sad times. Then we're going to go ahead and swing five into the Frankie, decreasing the Shucker. Trashing two cards, one of them was a Helmepo, which can be very helpful. And let's see what Eggman's going to do here. He's going to take a look at my trash to start with, making sure if there's anything that could be worrisome for him. Okay. Looks like he's just thinking what the right line of play is. Because, you know, there's, there's tons of different things he could potentially do here. It looks like he might be fine, but no, he's going to counter with another Frankie. And then I'm going to rest six to go ahead and play Brook to get rid of the Shaka. Okay. So it gets two Don going up to eight now. And what's he going to do with the eight Don? Because I got a Brook on board, which is nice. So... Looks like he's splitting it up. Maybe he's going to play another five cost character. He's going to swing six. I'm going to count with a 2k. He's going to swing seven. I'm going to counter that as well. All right. And I'm going to, he's going to rest five. Play Superman Luffy, killing Spandam to draw a card. And he's going to use Vegapunk's ability. And he's going to gain a life or is he going to play a character? He's going to gain a life playing Rayquaza. <laughs> Okay, so that's actually a very good event with a trigger that says you can go ahead and play an egghead character from your trash. That's five or less. So that's very, very nice in this situation for him. Okay, so I'm going to swing five into the Frankie. And then decrease probably the Atlas, right? Okay. 
And it looks like he's debating what he wants to do. Oh no, I swung into life. Okay, and he's going to use the Requazer. Point of it. Probably the Superman Luffy, I guess. Or well, actually, no, the Shaka would probably make more sense, right? Because he plays the Shaka, he then gets a blocker on board. No, he's going to play the Luffy. Okay. So Superman Luffy's on the board. We're on 9 Don. We're going to go ahead and swing 7 now. Swinging 7 into life. Okay, we do swing 7. And there's no trigger. Okay, that's good for me. And then we're going to go ahead and play Subbo. Which is okay, so we probably decrease the Burke and we're gonna go ahead and KO the Luffy and also the oh, sorry, and also the Frankie that would have been on free cost. I feel like that was a mistake on my part though, because that Atlas can't be KO'd by battle, so it would have probably been better if I went ahead and KO'd the Atlas so it doesn't become a problem later on. But I guess the Luffy could have also been a problem as well because it can KO something at some point, so I'm not too sure. Like, he could just remove the Luffy and get a draw as well, which is free removal on my end. So, it's, it's a funny situation, actually. That could be very good or could be very bad. It's like a 50-50 sort of thing. Okay. So, let's see what's going to happen. I've got a decent board. I've got a 9k swing. I've got a 6k swing. I've got the Luchi that's the leader to go ahead and trash more. We've got also a very sizable trash. So, we should have a lot of things to play with in there. Not a lot of cards in hand, though, which I think is a bit of a problem. Like, it looks like I've got three cards in hand. Which isn't great. Hmm. Okay. So he's going to swing seven into the brook. I have to let the brook die from the looks of it. Then he's going to rest... Oh, he's going to rest eight to play his Katakuri, putting my Sabo back into life. Not great, and then he's going to use Vegapunk's ability to put a Lilith into life. Okay. So it puts him in a very, very good spot. We're on 10 Don, though. So potentially do have plays here. And what am I going to do with those plays is the question, right? So, it looks like I am just debating what my choices are. And it looks like we're going to swing. So we swing seven. Oh, we swing. Please tell me we swing. Okay, we swung into life. I thought for a second there I swung into the Atlas. But no, we decreased its cost by one. Putting it down to a four cost. He did get the Lilith trigger. Which does play it for free. And he's looking at the top five and seeing what he wants to add to hand now. He goes ahead and gets another Requazer. Okay, and then I'm going to rest eight to go ahead and play Gecko Moria there. Gekko Mori is going to probably end up playing the... Okay, so he's going to play the Rebecca. And I'm going to play a Helmepo. Alright. Helmepo is going to go ahead and decrease the Atlas. Which is going to play a Spandine. And then Spandine is going to go ahead and play the Rob Lucci from the Trash. Which is going to go ahead and remove the Atlas. Alright. Okay, so we build a bit of a board. To be fair guys, I think it's absolutely stupid how Gekko Moria can go ahead and go from one character to literally five characters in no time. That's absolutely insane right now. Because, like, Gekko Moria into Rebecca is literally into Spandine and then into Rob Lucci. That, that That's absolutely insane in my mind, guys. But he's gone ahead and swung five into the Helmepo with the Lilith. And he's going to use the leader ability now. Putting Requazer into life. And then he's going to rest nine. Playing Yamato, which does let him KO the Rob Lucci. And then, is he going to let the Spandine survive? He's going to swing into life. I do choose to take it. And the Spandine did actually survive. Okay. Cool. So now it's my turn now. Eight, ten Don to play with, which is a very, very good number of Don to play with. Like, we could potentially play another eight-cost character. We could go ahead and play some other things. Like, well, let's see what we're going to do. Because we could even do some swings here. We could go for a big number into the Katakuri. Decent sized number into the Lilith, then possibly take another life as well, which would be okay. And then we can even do free swing with the Spandine if I really wanted to. So there's definitely a lot of options here. Okay, so what am I going to do? Looks like the debate is on. 
question is, what is the right line here? So it looks like I'm going to go ahead and put a couple done on, on my Moria. Question is, how many? Looks like I'm not, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It looks like I'm just checking my trash to ensure that I have the right line of play. Because I don't want to mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and swing 12 into Katakuri. Okay. Am I going to rest 5 next? No, we're going to go ahead and swing 5 into Lilith. He does counter the Lilith swing. Probably decrease the Lilith as well. I'm going to go ahead and play Rebecca. Rebecca's going to add the Spandine. Spandine's going to trigger putting back a Kaku... It's like I'm like Kaku, six king pistol, and another Kaku. Put those to the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and play Khalifa. Okay, which decreases the Lilith again. We're gonna draw two and then trash two. Trashing Rob Lucci and another Rob Lucci. Okay, so we trash two Rob Lucci's there. Then we're gonna rest free, getting rid of the Spandine, and playing Brook, which KOs the the Lilith there. Very nice. Got rid of the Lilith, so we're now looking at a Yamato and also Eggman. Or Vegapunk. Which is <laughs> pretty good, because we've got the Rebecca on the board as well, so we can go ahead and block the swing from the Yamato. We've also got the... Well, we've got two Rebeccas on the board, actually, so that's two blocks with, from the Yamatos. And we've even got Gecko Moria to do a very decent-sized swing. We've got the Brook here that can help us remove things, but he's going to go ahead and Superman Luffy away the Brook, taking away our KO ability. So not great on our end with that happening. But let's go ahead and see what he's going to do. So, it looks like Yamato is going to swing. Question is, at like, what? Like, any way it swings, I could just block it. So, I don't think it really matters. Hmm. Okay. Looks like it is just a debate right now. Okay, is he going to put some dollar in it? No? It looks like he's just debating what the right line of play is. Because with the number of cards in hand, he might just want to play like a, a simple five cost character, like a Shaka or something, to have a blocker on board. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what the right line of play is for him. Okay. So he swings nine. I choose to block it. Then he's going to rest five. Go ahead and place L. Okay, so he plays Ace and then goes ahead and swings into Khalifa, taking away one of my swings. All right. So it's my turn now. We draw for turn. And let's see what's going to happen. To be fair, Eggman Vegapunk is actually doing very, very well throughout this entire game. Like, he's got a very, very aggressive deck right now. And, like, just looking at what Vegapunk can do. Like, it basically, what I'm looking at here basically feels like an Enel deck, but worse purely for the fact that Vegapunk can't swing. But because you get to set up your triggers and stuff, it feels pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and swing 5 into life, decrease the ace. Okay. He's going to take it, and he gets, ooh, okay, so, so he gets Egghead Island. That's very good there. Because now he's able to restand like Shuckers and any other Egghead characters, which just gives him the ability to basically get free swings, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and swing ten into the Yamato. The Yamato dies. Okay, and then we're gonna rest some Don four to go ahead and decrease the Ace. We're gonna go ahead and get a, well trash a Rob Lucci and a Six King Pistol, and then we're gonna go ahead and play Kaku, which does remove the Ace. And then we pass turn. Okay, so we are in a very, very advantageous position right now. Even though he can gain one life, next turn we have the ability to swing 9, 7, 7, 9. And oh, okay, so he does go ahead and play Yamato to gain another life. And that's probably going to give him another life with his leader ability. So, bit of a nut tight situation now. So we're not in the greatest position, but still a pretty good one. And he's going to put, oh, Nico Robin into life. Okay, that's actually very good because that's a draw 2 for him. That's very, very nice. Okay. So, what am I going to do now? Because he's on free life, he's going to draw two cards. He's got a random trigger as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and swing five. Seems like five is the correct number here. He's going to counter with a Pythagoras. 
He's going to swing five again. I'm going to decrease the Yamato. Triggers the Robin, drawing two cards. Okay, it looks like I'm just checking my trash if there's anything specific in there that I may want. Question is, is there? Looks like I had a Rebecca in hand as well, so potential plays with a Rebecca. Maybe playing this Spandine. But I don't think that would work unless we have the ability to decrease Yamato enough. Without the stage, I don't think we've got that. So I'm going to go ahead and swing 7. No trigger. Okay. It's got a couple of no triggers this game. Very unfortunate for uh, Vegapunk when he doesn't get triggers. Because this whole deck is essentially trigger outside of like a couple of choice cards. Like Yamato and Katakuris and possibly Ace. He could be playing the 10 drop. But he's going to go ahead and use Requazar here. Plays a Shaka. Okay. Very good there because he puts up a blocker so I can't just slap all my Don onto the Rebecca. I'm going to play the Rebecca here. What is Rebecca going to get is the real question though. Okay. Looks like that's what I'm debating. <laughs> do I get maybe the Brook or do I get a 2k counter? Like, I have got a stack there, so I could realistically go any route I wanted. Okay. So... I'm back of Brook. Okay, looks like the Brook's the option here. No, we get a Khalifa. Okay, so we get the 2k counter. And then we pass turn with four Don left up. Oh, I could have swung with that, Don. I could have put 7-7 seven, seven with Khalifa. Okay. So, let's see what he's going to do now. He's going to swing 6 into the Khalifa. With his Shaka, which is going to restand anyway, so it's fine. He's going to swing 9 into the Kaku, which I do choose to block with a Rebecca. He plays a Yamato to gain a life. Most likely going to use Vegapunk's ability, which he is. Resting a Don, putting into life a Pythagoras, and then restands his Shaka, and then passes turn. Okay, my turn comes around now. Let's see what we're going to do. So, it looks like I am just debating. We're going to swing seven. Seven into life. Looks like he's going to take it. And from the looks of his hand, now that we can see slightly, looks like he has a stage with Superman, Luffy, and Pythagoras. Oh, sorry, no, with Edison. So not in a great position himself. Now the question is, am I going to swing into this Yamato? Because I don't know his hand in reality. In this game, I don't know his hand. But I'm going to swing nine into life from the looks of it. gonna take it and he gets a shaka that's a very very good card to hit so i'm gonna okay so i go ahead and play suru into sabo which lets me just remove both shakas okay that's very unfortunate for him because the fact that i was he got the pythagoras but didn't trigger it and then got a shaka and chose to trigger that instead meant that i was just able to clear both of his shaka <laughs> shakas which just put him in a very very bad position there with the ace like the the fact that i had the suru and the ace just to remove both of them or sorry this the suru and the sabo to remove both of them was absolutely insane but he's gonna go ahead and play superman luffy remove the rebecca okay he's gonna swing nine into the kaku i can't stop it so it has to go and then i've got one card in hand now realistically with this one card in hand i sh he should or with me having one card in hand he should probably attempt to swing the Yamato into the Moria to try and remove some bodies, right? And he does do that, okay. And then he's going to go ahead and use Eggman's ability. Putting the Egghead stage into life. And then pass his turn. Okay, so we start off with an 11 swing. He can't stop it, and sadly, with my massive 13 swing, he doesn't have enough to protect it, only having up to, from the looks of it, 
10k counter which is kind of unfortunate like that it didn't happen but nonetheless guys i hope you did enjoy that game like it was very fun to watch an egghead game i might actually try and build it for the channel as well just to give you guys some more fun content to go ahead and view but yeah guys i hope you did enjoy that please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more one piece content and yeah rob Luch is a pretty interesting deck Egghead is also a very, very interesting deck. I might try my own variant of it that I kind of want to... I'm kind of already getting ideas for it now that I think about it. Playing like the 10 cost Ace, the Yamato, the Katakuri, obviously. But then also maybe trying some other interesting cards as well that we could potentially play. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you do want to see me play uh, Egghead on the channel, Vegapunk, Eggman, whatever you like to call him, then please go ahead and say that in the comment section below. And I'll get to see you guys in the next one. Absolute Duelist signing out. Later, guys.